it's been a while. <laughs> but uh, we're back. Uh, last week was Labor Day, and uh, it's it's kind of a a little bit of a big thing here in New York, but it's also kind of not. But I don't know. I was tired. There was a lot of partying going on. Um. But yeah, we're back. You know. <laughs> we're gonna jump right back into it. I believe we were at the junk heap getting some parts for some stuff. Uh. Let's, uh, let's remember how to. F oh, I can't believe I forgot about this glow up. It gets me every time. Like, look at us. Like, we're all older and, and shit. And just. Our stance is, is uh. Oh, it's relatively the same. But. We're lit. Like, that's it. We're lit. <laughs> um, actually, the parts we needed, uh, I think we got them. Uh, but I, I think we needed more for like a side quest or something. Um, but definitely, we do need, oh, not that one. We need some, um, some medicinal herbs, I think, so we can fight more things and, uh, not die. And I just know this break always has some. Look at this, look at this, look at this, medicinal herb, medicinal herb, medicinal herb! Uh, oh, these guys are still down here. Oh, almost had me there. Oh, that was so Dead. rude of you. Oh, I can't believe you would do that. They seem to have developed some manner of bodily protection. It seems these creatures, too, follow the prescripts of evolution. And I'll just have to overpower them! Yeah, since when can monsters get on? Shouldn't you evolve or something? You can just have it on your body? Like, as a part of your body? I kinda don't. I kinda don't. I'm gonna be honest. I'm just here trying to remember how to play a game at all. I don't actually need to fight them. I say as I continue fighting them. Uh, <laughs> so, this is a little exercise to get our, our blood pumping before we <laughs> jump back into something we haven't done in a while. How's everybody doing? How's your day? We got a new word. See, it wasn't wrong for nothing. How about you don't grab the ladder? I'm trying to, trying to get on the ladder here, thanks. Oh, and I forgot Emil does that. What? Got a whole healer on our team. medicinal herbs and full health, which is always nice. And 
then go talk to the brother. The the remaining brother, anyway. That's some pretty impressive stuff you found. Why, thank you. I'll start upgrading your weapon right away. Appreciate and since you did me a favor, I won't even charge you for it. Oh, we love this this kind of stuff. We we love to get things for free. Well, actually, uh, are you gonna charge me? This anyway? is gonna take a little more time than I thought. That's funny. No sense in you waiting around. I'll send you a letter once it's ready. Oh, nice. That would be great. We're gonna. We're expecting mail. It appears we have some free time on our hands. <laughs> um. Okay, so actually now we can go Hope to the I forest. We might be able to find something in the forest of myth. You will forgive me if I seem less than enthusiastic about such a trick. <laughs> Vice did not enjoy the forest of myth the last time. But it's okay. This stream, we're gonna go read some books. Well, sort of. We're gonna read stories. even check my volume? I didn't even check my volume. Let's just double check that. Are we good? Okay, come on. Why are you lagging so far? Volume's great. Alright, let's go! To the forest of myth! Down here. Oh, oh my god! How dare you! Anyway, let's go. What is this? Oh, that's a meal. That was weird. I thought we had to go through the village. That was a little bit too close. I didn't like that. Are they attacking the boar? Why are they attacking the boar?
That ought to learn him. Is it up here? Or is it down there? I feel like it's down there. We better go down there. dream. <laughs> yeah. Truly a nightmare I hope never to experience again. It's crazy. This looks like you. a... This looks like a dream. Like, just from where we were to where we are now, everything is so, like, glowy and hazy. And, oh, hey. We can save. Love me at save point. We gotta talk to this guy about uh, collecting some stuff. Oh, hello. How are things? Hmm? You wanna know if anything unusual is happening? Yes, we are champions of unusual things. Well, I have been feeling a rather strange presence whenever I visit the Divine Tree. The Divine Tree? It's a legendary tree that exists in the heart of our village. Didn't we visit this tree before? Did you investigate the cause of this presence? Now, why would he do that? Not really, no. Not really, no. <laughs> and why not? Well, we're not really supposed to go near the tree, except for prey. Oh, it's like facade all over again. <sighs> and why is that? <laughs> no. It's just how things have always been. Oh, boy. Weird. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go break a few rules. Just to see about this divine tree spirit capsule. What's this? Um. <laughs> Why do we seem to encounter nothing but odd people lately? <laughs> you should talk, Vice. <laughs> As if Grimoire Vice is capable of spouting such nonsense. Okay. Need I remind you of the Shadow Lord? Hang on. I don't think it's done. Oh, it's not done. <laughs> the what? <laughs> What? Does that mean it'll tell us what we want to know? That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Black. Pure darkness. Painted over everything. Guess it's another story, guys. Words. Scattered here and there across the blackness. Kind words. Difficult words. Amorous words. All sparkling in the dark like jewels. The words were few now, but time was shorter. Grabbing the words in desperation, the tree turned to the sky. This is wrong, whispered the tree in the voice of wind through the leaves. This is not how it was supposed to be. The plan has failed. Once, long ago, the tree had remembered everything about the world. This was its task, its function, its purpose. It shivered with something approaching joy as it collected the memories of mankind. This was no accident. Emotions were as much as a part of the tree, as root and bark. Memories collected like dew on the thick green leaves of the tree, and once they had learned, they had formed a web that spanned the entire world. So why is this called the forest of myth, and not the forest of memory, or something? Words collapsed into sunlight before passing through the leaves and onto the pool of into the pool of memory. From the pool, the words joined together to form colonies. The colonies united into whirlpools of light and the light coalesced into stars. Each star was like a child of the tree, and it loved them all. Look at my memory. A child is here, brought low by disease. 
He is far too young to have suffered so. Thin, beyond words. The boy's skin is a shade paler than the bleached sheets upon which he lies. His parents no longer visit him, for they cannot bear to watch him suffer. The doctors have long since surrendered his fate to the gods. The boy, too, has abandoned hope. Strange emotions, weariness, hatred, swell within the dark recesses of his, his young heart. He tries to reject the black terror that germinates in his body, but no amount of effort or tears can drive the invader away. He has long ceased to resent his parents and doctors, once he did, but now his pain is so great that there is little room in his heart to think of others. Only one person brings the boy comfort, a healthy young girl with tan skin and deep blue eyes. She is a beacon of brightness and delight, and light in the, dark, the boy's world. Her very presence is a comfort to him. But he is unable to look upon her face. Whenever they meet, the boy is filled with loathing for his own state. Soon, this loathing eats away at what joy he receives from the girl's visits. The girl will stop coming. He knows this. His every waking moment is spent in fear of this day. He thinks that if he could talk to her, if he could tell her of his feelings, this might not be so. But this conversation never happens. The girl disappears. The boy dies alone. The tree scoops up this memory and carefully stores it within itself. Etched upon it is a single word. Envy. Look at my memory. There is a female warrior. Her greatest enemy is a beast with red eyes that she cannot fully comprehend. When she strikes it with her sword, it turns into a pillar of salt and dies. But when the smoke clears, a new enemy rises. And another. And another. The warrior knows that her struggle is folly. But fighting, in, fighting the unending stream of enemies fills her with a sense of joy and purpose. Somewhere deep in the warrior's drug-addled mind lies a vague memory of a daughter. Perhaps the child exists only in her head, the dying remnants of a powerful dream. She does not know. Her friends and fellow warriors come and go. Some flee in terror, some are eaten. She began the fight with 63 companions, but most are gone now. The warrior's body shudders. She does not understand why at first. By the time she hears the fierce, low sound, the arena is already enclosed in darkness. Looking up, the warrior sees a beast so large that it blots out the sky. She is laughing. She has been doing so for a long, as long as she can remember. Covered in blood and dirt, the warrior laughs. She laughs and laughs until the town that contains her daughter collapses into a pile of dust. What is going on? What? This memory has been stored for a long time. It is etched with a single word. Loss. Look at my memory. A red dragon falls from the heavens. Ah. That memory has been lost. A shame. It was a favorite of mine. After many centuries of existence, the tree saw that its carefully labeled memories were beginning to dwindle. Once seemingly infinite, the memories now seemed ready to disappear forever. The tree did not feel sadness at this. Grief was an emotion beyond its comprehension. It did, however, have the distinct feeling that something was missing. The mountain of memories it had so, had so carefully assembled had disappeared. The tree stretched its branches as far as it could, but new memories refused to flow. The pool of memories was a black, empty pit, a hollow place where the life had once flourished. The tree had lost its purpose. There was nothing to be done but silt, sift, Sorry. Sift through the few remaining memories littering the ground under its branches. This is why the tree was pleased when the young man and his companion entered the room. Well, this place is gloomy as hell. The room Achan had entered was almost completely empty. 
All he could see were a few crystals scattered haphazardly on the ground. Picking up one of the crystals and peering into it, Achan suddenly saw a familiar sight. It was the Forest of Myth, its villagers prisoners of their own dreams. I apologize, the tree thought. That is all that remains. As Achan stared at the jewel, bewildered, a voice suddenly called out from the depths of, its mi of his mind. The voice implored them to listen. It was an order. Following it was mandatory. Abruptly, the pair realized that they must listen. They must listen. Look there. A small shadowy presence appeared from beneath the floor. What? It appeared to be a shade. What? The shade grasped several jewels in its hand. What? The shade grasped several jewels in its hand. More jewels tumbled out of its mouth like shards of broken teeth. Sights and sounds tinkling from each one before vanishing forever. The creature was abusing the memories, treating the precious objects like a collection of cheap playroom toys. The shade appears to be consuming the memories. These things eat memories? The tree extended a branch toward Achan. Without a second thought, Achan brought his blade down on the shade, tearing its stomach wide. Jewels burst from the shade and poured across the chamber floor. Look, thought the tree, there is the conviction memory I had lost, and satisfaction, and many others as well. Yes, this is good. The tree opened its mouth and attempted to speak, but no sound emerged. A millennium of silence and solitude had caused the tree to forget certain things, but rather than be upset, it greeted the development with good cheer. Focusing all his power on the riddle of speech, the tree formed a kind of makeshift vocal cord and tried again. Ahem. I... I implore... <coughs> it spat a... It spat out a glimmering green jewel. Hmm. One more time. I implore you. There we are. What was the color of the lost envy? Oh, shit. Uh... <laughs> Does anybody remember? <laughs> um... Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna say green because that's the color. Oh, what was the story? Oh, we just read it. Oh my god. I mean, it's probably okay if we choose wrong and we get to try again, but man, I'm trying to remember now. <laughs> uh, shoot, shoot. Um, uh, we'll, we'll just say, oh, I don't think that was it. Was you let it slip through your ah, Come damn. On, we have to go back to that stupid. We have to go back. It was not green, even though you would expect envy to be green. Black, pure darkness, blah, 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 blah. This is wrong, the plan has failed. Joy, emotions, green leaves of the tree. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, all right, look at my memory. A child. Oh, right, it was brown, I think. Doctors of Law, the boy too, blah, blah, strange emotions. Only one person. Oh, okay. Tan skin and deep blue eyes. So I think Envy was blue. Look at my memory. Female warrior. And another. Big memory of a daughter. Her friends, some free and terror, so I eaten 33 companions, 60, was it 33 or 63? I think it was 63. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, maybe this lag is not such a bad thing. <laughs> A 
something. I don't know. Uh, she's laughing. She laughs and laughs until the town. Lost. Look at my memory. A red dragon falls from the heavens. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Uh huh. Everything black. Gloomy as hell. Lots of crystals. There's a shade eating all the memories. Okay, all right, good cheer. I implore. Blue, it spoke. This shade has intelligence and emotion. Who cares? Achan brush device is coming aside as his sword slices through the shade's right arm. The shade extended its remaining arm to Achan. I must touch him. I must make contact. The moment his fingers brushed against Achan, the truth felt a warm sensation begin to burn. Something hot coursed through its fingers, up its arm, and out to its entire body. It was emotion, more than the entity had felt in centuries. The tree cried out in surprise and joy. One thousand years alone. One thousand years in quiet contemplation. The tree felt like it was going to break apart. For long centuries, the tree had been alone, its heart sealed with heavy chains. But no more. New, powerful emotions began to take hold, causing its heart to lighten. This was more than the simple emotions that it had been designed to feel. It was the beginnings of a soul. And the young man was the key. This was a, a promise made long ago. This is how it would be released. The tree's stomach began to throb in pain, a new and unpleasant sensation. But the time was not yet right. I implore you, how many were lost by the warrior who fought the red-eyed beast? Her daughter and... Shoot, was it 33 or 63? I think this time it was 33. Okay, riddle time is over. I'm gonna kill this stupid shade once and for all. Something round and shiny fell from the open stomach and clattered to the floor. The key, cried the book. Secure the key. The man's sword slowed. Time began to dilate around them, stretching and slowing. Time is essential. The next word must be heard. The words exploded. It became difficult to discern their meaning. The pool of memory began to crack as infinite blackness burrowed its way into the wall. This world is falling apart. <laughs> how, how can a world of letters? I am poor. Most important thing. World. Which one is it? Well, I suppose it doesn't matter. Yona. Yona's the most important thing. The light was complete. The memories disappeared. The tree's identity began to dissolve. As the letters slowly faded, Achan was drawn back into the real world, and the tree was satisfied. Okay, what? 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 What in the... I never realized shades were capable of rational thought. I don't care if they can tap dance and play the fiddle. <laughs> I just want to kill him without all this hassle. Oh, I think we struck a nerve. With the tree defeated, we no longer have to worry about being buried in its world of letters. Unless, of course, time itself begins to rewind. That would be... Hmm. Uh, <laughs> we got it! Memory tree, key fragment. And uh, maybe some clues about Yona. Yona's apparently very important to this world. So, uh, I guess we should be heading back to the junkie. 
unusual activity here? No, I don't think so. But I do have an incredible story for you. Want to hear it? Do I? Eh, just this once. It was. Da 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 However, da 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 Meanwhile, my wife. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> what do you mean, your wife? What? <laughs> uh, the dismembered corpse. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Where's the rest of the story? Do I have to unlock it? What's going on? Oh my God. The real culprit was. What kind of clue bullshit? <laughs> Yo! This is the most interesting story with no words ever. Wow. Can you believe it? No, actually, I can't. That, that, this is quite the story. I wonder how it's gonna end. I'm impressed. Much of this story had been hidden from us, yet you seem to grasp it. <laughs> yeah, but I still don't know how it's going to end. That's crazy. Wow, thanks for that. I can't believe that just happened. What next? Check to see if the letters arrived from the younger brother or go speak with Hopefully, Yeah, let's, let's... Let's see if the junk heap kid sent us a letter. Yeah. But, uh... So do that. First we gotta save. We have to go back to the village anyway, don't we? Not actually, though. Oh, you almost had it. You, you really did. Almost. But no. I'm on a mission. I have to go see if I have mail. It's so dangerous now. They don't even keep the doors like open anymore. We have to. We have to knock. We have to knock at our own gate. What's going on here? Who is this? What are you saying? Help! Help! Oh, gods, please help me! Help you? What's wrong? There's what? this huge shade near the bridge in the northern plains. Oh, shit. The damn thing nearly killed my wife and daughter. Yeah, why not? I'm on it. It appears and disappears like the wind. You could go days in the northern plains what? without seeing it. And then, all of a sudden... That's just... Perfect. Uh, let's go check our mail and then uh, talk to Popola and uh, see what that's all about. This is not where we check our mail. <laughs> you have a letter, it would seem. 
Dear Achan, this is to inform you that the upgrade work on your weapon has been completed. The weapon is ready and available for pickup at your earliest convenience. I also have a more personal request to make of you, one I hope we can discuss further once you arrive to pick up the weapon. Yours, Two Brothers Weaponry. Well, it's only one brother weaponry now, isn't it? That was rude. I'm personal sorry. request. Mm -hmm. He's done a lot for us. We should see what he wants. Yeah, I don't see why not. Off to the junk heap then. Just thing for us for free. Um, we could go to the junk heap, but also I feel like it's imperative that since we're here, we talk to Popola. Although if it was gonna be like this, I um, we probably should have just said talk to Popola, and then, and then we could have uh, seen about that letter. Now I wonder if they're even gonna let us talk to Popola. I don't see why not, but game mechanics are strange that way. Don't push yourself too hard. And now we can't talk to Popola. Game mechanics are strange that way. I guess we're going to the junk heap. Maybe what Popola needs is um like a whole quest in itself. But now we'll never know! No, we won't never know. Oh. <laughs> Obviously, we just have to go to the junk heap and, and then, like, finish that up. It's just annoying because, like, we're already here. And now we're gonna have to come back. Because gate mechanics. What's this? Oh. There's probably a. I hope you find your Yona. I really do. Thank you. Is this the northern plane? Oh, okay. Well. And we have to go by the bridge anyway. Wait. No. Because there's the bridge, the broken ish bridge ladder thing that we'd use to get to the junk heap. And then there's the bridge to where we cross over it to get to the airy And, um. There's also this. Well, that's not really the bridge. All right, let's go over by the bridge and see see what's really going on, and then we'll we'll see about the bridges. Where's the shade that almost killed this man's wife and daughter? Right. I don't see any shade over by the bridge. Is this the bridge? I don't know, I don't see any... Well, maybe it's uh, disappearing into thin air right now, and that's why we can't see it. Let's, uh, let's see. Uh, in quests, all our quests, oh, no. Incomplete quests. Bridge in peril. Dispatch to shade that has taken up residence near the bridge in the northern plains. Seems the shade isn't always there. Uh, yeah. Oh, what's that? Facade. Where on earth am I gonna find a treasure map? I don't know. I think that's also a facade. I don't know, I'm going back to the facade. Alright, well, we checked out the bridge, and the shade isn't here. And I'm sure it'll pop up on us, uh, in... during a time when we least need it to, but... that's just life.
back again to the junkie to pick up our weapon and to see about this personal favor from one brother and two brothers weaponry. Open the door so forcefully. <laughs> hey there, your weapon is ready to go. Nice. Great, thanks. You know, with a weapon like that. Oh boy. You were going to say? Uh huh. I need to ask you for a favor. Of course you do. Might it be collecting scrap for some more stuff? Oh yeah. I want you to avenge my brother. You want us to avenge? That is a rather ponderous favor. <laughs> It's my mission. It's the whole reason I've been creating these weapons for the past four years. Really? That's it? I don't care about money. I only care about making a weapon strong enough to kill those bastards. I see. Right, he said, well... Which bastards? The ones in the mountain. That little shade in his robot. What little shade is a shade robot? has joined forces with a robot. A shade has joined forces with a robot. There's a shade in there. There's a shade in yes. there. Yes. And what have we decided? Hmm? We're gonna go kill the shade. We're gonna kill it. Of course. Well, you didn't have to ask this favor because we were gonna do that anyway. Guess we're off to uh, kill more robots. Uh, hold on. Well, we have to go in there anyway. To go in the elevator and do the thing. Yeah. Uh, welp. We're gonna go kill robot shades. Or shade robots. Or, uh. I don't know. I don't even know. Alright, so, um, oh, oh, okay, I did not realize I could do that, I just hold the button and all of a sudden, okay, okay, that's interesting, um, while we're here, uh, we may as well do some word edits, um, where is this one? Uh, and we got some, some new words earlier. What does this do? Not a thing. Oh, guard break. That's probably really important, actually, on a, um, a heavy handed weapon. So we're gonna put guard break on that. Uh, what do we got here? What does it do? What does it do? It doesn't do anything. Uh, item drop rate. Interesting. Paralyze, poison, lug does nothing for two-handed swords, it seems. EXP. Should we? Mm. Let's do item drop rate. Why not? Oh my gosh, look at how long it takes to to swing this weapon. Do, do, you see, do you see how long that took? No! Oh my god! No! No! Absolutely not.
Okay, yeah, no, see, this just, oh god. Big sword energy, big slow energy meme, cause that is, that is a lot. Like, I have to be fighting an enemy like three times my size that takes like seven times as long to hit because what is th that's the quick no this is this is the light hit and this is the heavy hit look how long this light hit should not be taking this long to <laughs> cliche animator <laughs> Can I? Can I? Oh, wait. Okay. Okay, yeah, no, I can. That's- that's fair. Th okay. I can dodge roll out of it. Okay. Alright. You got me there. But like, it's just gonna take longer if I have to dodge roll and I can't land the swing. The ground slam, then dodge roll. We'll see. Let's see. Those strings, though. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, let's let's see about this. Let's uh Look at look at this! No! Oh my god. That took so long. Nah oh my gosh. We'll try it. We'll try it out. We'll try it out. Oh my gosh. I can't deny this should oh my god where did they come from where did they come from <laughs> yeah take two hits to destroy anything is uh it's pretty pretty OP Unless it doesn't take two hits to destroy anything, then you know. Yeah, this is- I'm sorry, this is just- This is a lot. It's a lot! Gotta like, plan out each move. Ouch. backwards. You can dodge cancel out of anything. <laughs> oh, okay. We need the bomb for here. Where does this lead? Is that another elevator? Seems like it. And I think we've already been through everything else. <laughs> kind of is okay. It's okay, guys. Kind of is kind of is fine. Ouch. Oh, we blew it up already. Oh, that's that would explain why there's nothing here to block us from the door. 
this is green, and this is green. Um, wait. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What? 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 Oh, we came from the elevator. So we didn't go this way? Where do I need to be going? Hold on. Defeat the robot that killed the brother. The brother doesn't even have a name. I know the brother had a name before, but like, what's really going on here? Um, so I think we did this already. I don't know that we need to- oh, hello. Yeah, I don't know that we need to go through here again. Um, I'm going to just... Can I go back to this? That's what I did. Uh, we're gonna go this way. I think. I'm really not sure. I, they, we didn't get any directions or nothing. So we're just we're just gonna go as deep as we can go. I hope we're going in the right direction. Is the most tedious part of it. Oh my goodness. There's just so much going on. And we're aiming in the wrong. Wow! I can't believe I missed that. I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm still getting hit. This is ridiculous. Alright. Onward. Kaine, what are you doing here? didn't jump just now. I know I pressed the jump button twice.
Tiny is unfazed by your electricity. I'm so glad I can fight this thing with magic. Like, oh, oh snap. is not the robot we were looking for. Gotta go further. Junk heap depths. Here we come. Uh, is this the right direction? No. Pretty sure it's this way. Oh, we can't go this way. Oh, no, it's over here. Huh? Oh my god! Again with the electricity, like, why? Okay, uh... Let's, uh... This is not gonna help us here. So what we're gonna do... Is, uh, our tried and true. Yeah! Stuff on the ground. Oh, look at that, we lived! Oh! So much loot on the ground, it's uh, starting to disappear. Okay. No, that's where we just came from. Alright, let's keep going. Damn, for good measure. We're getting into it now! Is this where we find the giant thingamabob that we have to- Oh, guess not. Shade. The shade bot. Oh no. I've never heard of a shade living with a machine. What's that about? Don't know, don't care. All that matters is that we kill them both. It's all that matters. Okay, whoa, whoa, buddy. Whoa. How about you stop that right now? Imagine. <laughs> I've never heard of a shade bot. Okay, there's only one place we can go. Okay, 
<laughs> it seems we have found the entrance to our robot friend's hideout. Have we? Right. Let's head down. It's interesting. We found this by accident the last stream. Are you mad? We've no idea what lies below. Actually, we do. Beats going the long way around. Come on. Indeed, it does. Let's uh, let's save right here. Um, and actually. <laughs> We're an hour in, uh, just about. So what we're gonna do, come back at 5.30 and see about this shade bot. Robo shade. You know. Uh, <laughs> I'll see you guys in a couple hours.